I wanted to show you a direct comparison of these um, of these two circuits um, running off the same battery with the same bulbs. Here is the little um, e core that I made. Um, I rewound it with bell wire. It's a single transistor. And then here is a large air core. And it's completely filled on the primary with 12 gauge. We got four seven and a half watt LED bulbs. They're the Utilitech uh, warm white. All right, first we're going to hook up this little e core. It's uh, started up. As you notice, it's quiet. It's drawing about um, 400 milliamps. And those bulbs are probably I don't know 40 percent brightness. We'll unscrew a couple. Watch the milliamps. Milliamps went up a little. But just a little bit of ringing. Take a third out. And the milliamps dropped a little bit. You can see that. Still around 400. There's just one bulb. What about 300 milliamps? And we'll take this last one out and see what the idle is. It's still idling real high. Now we'll compare it with the air core. All right, we're going to start the air core up. Notice it's kind of a nice soft start. It doesn't blast on. So we're pulling 790 or so milliamps to light the four bulbs. Another neat thing is with, with this system, you can just shut them off. The milliamp drop drops way down at idle. So you can kind of turn them on like regular bulbs. I'll start to uh, take a couple out of the circuit. Notice the milliamp draw drops. Drops again. No change in brightness really as you remove them. Dropped again. Down to that one. Now I want to show you something else on this. If you hit the center tap, very, very bright. We're drawing about an amp. So I'll go ahead and put all the bulbs in. Okay, so we have all the bulbs in. And we're drawing 1.6 amps to light all four. So it's kind of neat. There's some flexibility in this. You can go for you know higher low power just by changing the tap on the primary. So here's the air core running on um, a 12 volt battery pushing into six bulbs. I'm pulling 0.93. Now if we change to the center tap, if I can get this. So we'll go to center tap on there. Now we are pulling 1.9 almost amps. So it's pretty flexible what you can do with this air core. So my feeling is with these E cores, um, they, they use about half the power, give really good brightness. There's flexibility in how many bulbs you want to use. Um, 
probably want to switch these off at the power source rather than at the bulb because they, they do um, consume um, power just idling. Um, it's small, compact, can be made pretty quiet. The air core is fun, it's a lot bigger, probably is more expensive to make. Um, starts up nice, soft start. The e cores sometimes don't fire up. Um, not a big deal. You just retap them a couple of times and they fire up. Um, the air cores, you can have a choice of, you know, how much, how much power you want to put into the bulbs by changing the um, tap on the primary. Um, the other thing is, um, these will consume less power as you, you know, put in fewer bulbs. Whereas the e core, I notice. There's certain thresholds where it will run more efficiently with a certain number of bulbs and not quite as efficient with, with more or less. Um, this one seems to be more linear. Um, it, just, it just keeps putting more power in as you run more bulbs. So they're, they're different. I would say the E-Core, if you're going for absolute efficiency, is, is just an amazing little device. Um, the air core might be more pleasant if you were trying to run, you know, between one to ten bulbs. It basically will pull the power it needs. Bandwidth is really, really large on this. Um, you could probably run this down to three volts or up to 24 volts. The e core, I haven't experimented with that. It will, it will pretty much continue to to run all down to about nine, eight, eight, nine volts. A little harder to start, but it, it will run. I'm not sure how high it can go, but there's really no need because it's a nice little efficient system. Anyway, those are my thoughts. I did try the big toroid. Here's the big toroid. Um, it is running 3 amps, 3.2 amps. It rings. Um, it's not very bandwidth forgiving. There's three amps, so an amp of bulb, so we're putting in too much power into these bulbs. 2.8. Oh, it's, it's kind of a power hog. And it didn't like having just one bulb. Now it won't run.